G'day, thanks for tuning in. You're with the Pedal Picassos once again. I'm Rod. Drop a comment in, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe. It all helps the channel, thank you. More Tonex One fun. This time I thought I'd show you the default presets um, that come with the Tonex One via the Tonex software. So I'm screen recording here. I'm in the mode where I can actually switch between the two presets in a stomp mode. So I've got three different colored knobs on here, which is identifying that I've got three um, snapshots that I can actually switch between using the foot switch. The left hand one, which is red, is flashing, indicating that that preset is set. On the actual Tonex software, when you're connected via USB, that is actually showing that the super reverb is selected. And this is just default. I haven't tweaked any of these at all. The next one is the Just 800, a JCM 800. And, those poles are a bit noisy. Um, the middle knob on the Tonex is, is flashing, purple indicating the second preset is selected. I go to the third one, which is green. It will switch on the software showing that the pushed 800, which is this sound. And then I'll switch back to the first preset, the Super Reverb. You can actually check out all 20 default presets um, that are loaded into the Tonex One software and the Tonex One pedal, the Tonex software and the Tonex One pedal, just by twisting the knob, twisting the knob, the dob, twisting the knob, twisting the dial, twisting the knob, twisting the dob. Um, so it will scroll through this preset list here of 20 just by hitting. So the first one is, is our Super Reverb at the top. Second one, you'll notice that it will change with the software and it's, it's actually scrolling down. So we've gone from the Super Reverb to, it'll actually go to number four because I've got one, two, and three already dialed in the slot. So number four is pure, it's the Soldano SLO 100. And if I scroll to the next one, we've got a mad fuzz. which is a Fender 57 Custom Deluxe. Which is absolutely cranked by the sounds of things. Next preset, I'm getting a bit of noise here, apologies for that, um, is an Orange 50 High Gain, it's Orange Rockerverb 50 Mark II. matched with an orange uh, 4x12 cab. The next one, and you'll notice that the colors are changing every time I dial up to the next one. So we've got the UK AC, which will be an AC30 on a drive selection. Next one. In fact, I'll use this to demonstrate the noise gate option on, on the pedal. If I go back to just single slot preset mode by pushing both my foot switch and my alternate button. Okay. I've now got the option to edit this tone by using the knobs across the top and the big knob. Knobs across the top in the first setting are um, bass, middle, treble. I'll leave the tone as it is, but it gets, right, I've got some noise there, right? If I go to my alternate setting, these will start to flash. I can then adjust my gate. And that's my noise gate. <laughs> so, I've just, um, I've just narrowed that gate so that it clamps a little bit harder. And I'll demonstrate that again. I'll back it off. 
There we go. Noiseville. No noise. How good is that for your high gain setting? So as with gate settings, also to taste, also to um, feel. You don't want it clamping down too hard, but you don't want it sputtering and stuttering either. Whilst I'm here, I can change the reverb as well. So it's got a room reverb on that. Okay, that was just to show adjusting those settings. Push both buttons again. I'm back into multi-tone mode. I'm still on the first um, knob setting, the first slot setting on the Tonex software. Still scrolling through, and I'm at number nine, uh, which is a JMP Angel. Okay, number 10. Did I skip number 10? Let's go back to number 10. Uh, a Mark Clean. So it's a Mark um, 5 Boogie. It's a neat clean patch to start assembling on. It's got some fair punch. Um, its cabinet is matched with a 212 there. Coming down, the next one was uh, a DR18, so it's a Dr. Z. It's based on a Dr. Z Ma, um, Maz 18, so an 18 watt. Big fan of 18 watt uh, valve amps, and if this is trying to emulate that, gosh, I'll go and edit edit it myself. Give it some more spanks, some more tops, and some more mids. If I go to the uh, second mode, I can control that drive, bring the drive down. And then you've got a platform that you can add some drives to. I will shoot another video punching uh, TS9 and SD1, some distortion pedals and tube screamers into this to see how it takes it. And I'll probably use a platform like this, the, the Dr. Z 18 watt. That mid-range punch so a guitar can cut through. All right, what's our next one? If we go back into our dual press mode, we've gone from the Dr. Z, more noise. It's, uh, it's based on a messy, messy boogie dual rectifier. That's a good place to start um, with a nasty tone. So that's that's number 12. Uh, number 13 is a Cali Clean, Mesa Boogie F50 Clean. <laughs> Number 
These are all really, really useful palettes to start with, knowing that you can edit them up yourself. Control the amount of EQ across it. Um, the compression as well, um, and I'll demonstrate that in a second, but just default presets, they're great places to start. Uh, when we get to 14, it's Pinky Drive, it's a Fishman Pink Taco. Um, sorry, Friedman, Friedman Pink Taco. Next. We've got a Marshall, uh, an AFD, so it's a Slash Special. That's got that, uh, you just hear where that, that resonant frequency is. It's That's, that's a good Marshall tone to start off with. So. <laughs> and then we're onto the stomp range. So from 16 to 20, you've got stomp pedals. Now, because I'm not going into any other amp, um, these are all going to sound fairly uh, sterile and brittle with no amp. So I'll scroll through them and just describe what they are. So you've got um, an Ibanez Tube Screamer, an 808. Um, the next one is a, uh, a, either a Super Metal or a metal, Boss uh, Metal Zone, the Boss MT2. Somebody will chime in and correct me there for sure. You've got a Klon Centaur as the next one. Um, you've got an EHX Big Muff. And then number 20 is a full tone um, OCD. Now, not going into any amp, they're gonna sound very sterile. But the slot that you can put these in is into the slot number three um, in stomp mode. So you can use this as a stomp pedal if you want to load in a, a, a TS-808 emulation or a Klon Centaur emulation and just use it as a stomp box. Um, otherwise you've got these as got these as defaults and these are them. Scrolling all the way back to number one, the Super Reverb. Getting another amp into your library, into that slot of 20, um, is as simple as coming down to your tone model list that you've got here, having a look at an amp, um, going over to your collection, the factory collections that you get um, 800s and 900s, so JMPs and, and um, uh, JCM Marshalls, um, Callies for Mezzas, uh, metal heads including those, and uh, 5150s, Soldanos, and you name it. Um, some of these have also got um, dirt pedals in front of them. Um, I'm just going to grab one here for an example, and it's got a full tone. Um, OCD in front of a PV5150 through an orange 4x12 cab. I'm going to grab this guy and I'm going to bring it up here and I'm just going to put it on top of my pure setting. Number four, ask me if it wants to overwrite. Yes, I do. Overwriting, thank you very much. And it's done that. I want to put it into a slot. I'm going to put it back into slot number one, which is where I am at the moment. Um, grab it, put it here, done. There it is. And this is it. Notice this has just changed colour on it. By default, this has gone back. By default, this has gone back to the two-option um, pedal. They're both flashing because they're in alternate mode, but this is switching between amp one and amp two now. 
Holding down the foot switch, back into tuner mode. Holding them both down again, and I'm back into three zone mode. I hope this has given you some kind of insight into the default presets that are available on the Tone X1. Um, it is a super bit of kit. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not endorsed to say things like that, I just think uh, it, it is a really, really good piece of kit. The tones that I've been going through here are just the default settings, the, the library settings that uh, come with it that you can delve through and get through Tonex uh, libraries um, online uh, have some great options. I, I've pulled out a couple of things that are that are, <laughs> are, are really neat. Um, if I go into the 800s and 900s, I'll try and find um, uh, Black Angus somewhere here, which is quite quite an incredible uh, piece of kit. Um, I'm just going to keep delving here. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll, we'll we'll see you again next time. <laughs>